Hey y'all and welcome to day zero of our Get Hooked on Socks challenge. It's officially the start of our Get Hooked on Socks challenge and I am so excited. So today is day zero. Tomorrow we officially start making our sock, but today we need to go over all of the supplies that we're gonna need to make our first pair of crochet socks, or if you're just going to be making another pair of socks and you've made socks before, we're gonna go over gauge, how to check it, what's most important, also how to measure your foot to determine the size that you need to make your sock and some other stuff about the Get Hooked on Socks Challenge, and I'm excited. So before I dive into telling you all about our Get Hooked on Socks Challenge that is now starting, which I'm so excited about, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Ashley Lether. I'm the crochet designer and indie dyer behind Lether Co. And I work with my husband, Eric, who hand makes all of our crochet hooks. And we have an online store and a monthly subscription box. I will link them down below. Currently at the start of this challenge they are on two separate sites but by the end of this challenge um, it actually works out that we're going to be on one site and I will link that down below so September 10th our new site will be opening up and we're gonna start having everything in one place which is totally amazing so our get hooked on socks challenge is essentially a way to teach you how to make a pair of crochet socks I got hooked on crocheting socks back at the end of 2017 and I'm still hooked on crocheting socks. And something that I've gotten a lot of the, over the years as I release new patterns is it's beautiful. I wanna make a pair of socks, but I don't know where to start and it seems so intimidating. So I've been wanting to host a Get Hooked on Socks challenge for a long time and I'm excited that the time is finally here. So what we're gonna be doing for our Get Hooked on Socks challenge is basically making the Simplicity Sock. This is my original sock pattern that I did in the very beginning back in 2017, and I've given it a little bit of a makeover. I've made the heel even simpler after years and years of crocheting socks and designing socks. I have found a way to make it even simpler so that you can make a pair of Simplicity Socks and dive into crochet sock making because it is so much fun. So if you haven't joined the challenge already, you can still do that at any time. Go to leatherco.com slash sock challenge. I will link it down below. Put in your email address and I will send you the Simplicity Sock Crochet Pattern for free. Or you can grab the pattern from our store. I will link it down below. Just type in Simplicity Socks and you can purchase the PDF for a dollar through the challenge. So either way, you'll get the Simplicity Sock Crochet Pattern, the updated version, and it's a lot of fun. So again, if you have not joined the challenge, you can do that, leatherco.com slash sock challenge. Link down below, come join, make a pair of Simplicity Socks with us. It's gonna be so much fun. So if you've made socks before, you can make another pair of socks. Um, you can do the Simplicity Socks, you can do a different sock pattern. I have got tons of sock patterns in our store. They're all so much fun to make. And if you love crocheting texture, then you're gonna love crocheting all the different socks. This one uses basic crochet stitches. So if you can work up a hat from top down, work basic stitches and do a few decreases, you can make the Simplicity sock. All right, so we're going to go over all the different supplies you need how to measure your foot and how to check your gauge. All of the yarns, crochet hooks, tools, everything that I show you, you can find in our store, which I will link down below, um, plus more. Uh, there is sock kits beyond just what I'm gonna show you and basically everything your little yarn heart could desire you could find in our store, which will be in our current store and in our new store when that launches September 10th. So. First, let's go over the dates of our challenge because this is super important to know and remember um, so that you stay on track to make your pair of Simplicity Socks in 10 days. So today's day zero. This doesn't count towards our 10 days, but today we need to make sure we've got our supplies, we're checking our gauge, and we're measuring our foot so that tomorrow for day one, we are ready to jump into making our first pair of socks. So for day one, we're gonna be making the toe. So we're gonna start with our first sock and we're going to do the toe. Then on day two and three, we're gonna do the foot. So basically if you break it down in half, day two, day three. Then on day four, we're gonna do the heel. And then on day five, we're gonna do the ankle. And then on day six, we're gonna start over with our second sock. And then we'll do our toe on day six. 
Day seven and eight will be our foot. Day nine will be our heel and day 10 will be our ankle. So by the end of 10 days, we will have a pair of socks. Then on day 10, we will go over how to block your socks onto a pair of sock blockers so that you've got your socks ready to go and you can wear your first pair of crochet socks that you have made yourself. So that is the schedule for our Get Hooked on Socks Challenge. A little bit every day for 10 days and you'll have a pair of Simplicity Socks. I love that. Um, okay, so now let's go over all the supplies that we're gonna need to make a pair of Simplicity Socks. So the first thing that you're going to need is approximately 300 yards of sock weight yarn, which is a weight one. If you pre-ordered our Dragonfly sock set, then you have got a 100 gram skein, which is 400 yards, and you've got a mini skein, which is 92 yards. So these are both sock weight. They are a superwash nylon blend. You can do it in any sock weight yarn, but if you've got a little bit of nylon, it's gonna stand up a little bit better, but I have made plenty of socks just at a superwash merino, and they hold up great. So that's just an option for you. If you missed out on the pre-order, you can get this in our store, Dragonfly Wings sock set, for our Simplicity sock, um, depending upon how how much we have in stock, it'll either be ready to ship or it'll be dye to order. And dye to order takes about a week or so for us to dye it up and ship it out to you. So I don't always have a lot of stock ready to ship because by the time I've made extra, they've already sold and they've gone out. So it just kind of depends upon what we have in the store. So just know that more than likely, unless it says ready to ship, it's probably gonna be dyed to order. Um, but we try to get it dyed up as quickly as we can from when the order came in. So for our Dragonfly Wings sock set, you're gonna need sock weight yarn. And I say about 300 yards because that's about average, about the medium size. So if you're making a smaller size, you're gonna need less yardage. If you're making a larger size, you're gonna need more. So somewhere between 250 and 350 um, yards of sock weight yarn. And then it also kind of depends upon if you're going to do more of a shorty, an ankle sock, you're going to need less yarn than if you do a longer sock. So socks with the yardage that you're going to need just kind of depends upon how you're customizing your sock and the size that you're making. Okay, so you're also gonna need a crochet hook to do this. You're going to need an H, which is a five millimeter or crochet hook to meet gauge. And we're gonna go over gauge in just a little bit. Gauge is super important. This is the Dragonfly Wings crochet hook that was part of our Dragonfly Wings crochet kit. You can still get this in our store. And then you're also gonna need some other supplies. It is very important when making a pair of socks that you've got a tape measure of some kind. I've got my wrist ruler here or a regular, just retractable tape measure, but you want a tape measure of some kind because you're gonna need it a lot through the sock making process. You're also going to want to have a tapestry needle to weave in those ends. You're gonna have a good amount of ends to weave in if you are doing it in the mini skein with a 100 gram skein because we're gonna have multiple places to weave in those ends. So make sure you've got a tapestry needle. And then also we want to have a pair of scissors. I love fancy scissors. So a pair of scissors to cut your ends when you're done. And then some other cool tools because I love cool tools to have are sock blockers. So these are our adjustable sock blockers. You can find them in our store at leatherfestore.com. Depending upon um, when you check out the store, it'll either be available as a pre-order or it'll be available as ready to ship. Just kind of depends upon where we are in that sock blocker ordering process. But these are our adjustable sock blockers. Here it is with the sock on it. And I love our adjustable sock blockers because Basically, you only need one set of sock blockers to block your socks for all sizes. So this will block from a women's four to a men's 10 or 11, which is great. So if you make socks for yourself, if you make socks for your spouse, if you make socks for you know any your parents, anybody, you just need one set of sock blockers and they adjust. So you can customize it whether you want it longer for the sock, 
shorter, adjust the length of your foot. Super, super cool tool. I love tools. So sock blockers, you can find those in our store. I will link those down below. And then another cool tool to have, which this would kind of go in your tape measure category, is a sock roller. I love the sock roller. We carry these at our store. They are a plastic material, very durable. And essentially how it works is you slide it into the foot of your sock and measure the length of your sock, which is great because as you're making your sock, you're going to need to know where to stop before you start the heel. So I love this. So you can find this in our store as well. I will link it down below. So we do need some good amount of supplies to make a pair of socks and it's all gonna be so much fun. Okay, so I think that's all of the materials that we're going to need to make a pair of Simplicity socks. Let's dive into gauge. And today, for day zero, I really, 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 really want you to make a gauge swatch. Gauge swatch is so important when making a pair of socks because I don't want you to get almost all the way done with your sock and then realize it doesn't fit and it's either too big or too small and we could have corrected that with a gauge swatch. So I want you to work up a gauge swatch that's about five and a half by five and a half wide so that you can check your gauge. Now the gauge to match my gauge is 20 half double crochets in 16 rows. So work up a gauge swatch so that it's a little bit bigger than the four by four so you can accurately measure your stitches. And the biggest thing that I want you to look at when measuring your gauge is your stitch count. If your stitch count matches mine, but your rows do not, don't worry about adjusting your crochet hook because as we make our sock, everything to make your pair of socks is done off of length, not amount of rows with the exception of the heel. Um, and then the ankle, that one has an X amount of rows, but for the most part, when it comes to the important parts of how long your sock's gonna be on your foot um, and your ankle, you can do this all by customization and you don't need to make sure that your rows match mine, but you do want to make sure that the stitch count does. If it doesn't, then adjust your hook accordingly until you can match the gauge. So you wanna make sure that you've got 20 half double crochets in four inches. That's super, super important um, before we start on our Simplicity socks. So check your gauge. It's going to save you so much time later, and it's going to make you enjoy the sock making process a lot more if your gauge matches and you don't have to go back and frog anything. So check your gauge. All right, so the next important thing to do before starting your crochet socks is to measure your foot. Please measure your foot. It's gonna make the sock making process so much easier for you to make sure that you've measured your foot and you've got all of your measurements written down. So there's two places I want you to measure your foot. I want you to measure the circumference of the ball of your foot, and then I want you to measure the length of your entire foot. Write these two numbers down because these are gonna be important when you go to the pattern. So I'm gonna show you how to measure your foot on my little foot mannequin here. Let me tell you, side note, this is the weirdest thing I have ever searched for on Amazon and I don't ever wanna search for it again. But this is how I'm gonna show you to measure your foot because it'd be very weird for me to try and show you how to do this on my own foot. So we're gonna use this mannequin foot here. So grab your tape measure and you're going to measure the foot at the ball of your foot here. So just go all the way around. It's a little easier on a real foot than a foot in the air that's being a little uncooperative, but my measurement for this foot is about eight and a quarter. So I'm gonna write that down because that's gonna be important to know for the circumference because that determines the size that we're going to be making. Then I want you to measure the length of your foot. So start all the way at the back of the heel, go all the way down to the end of your toe. So the entire length of your foot, write that number down, super important. Okay, so you've measured your foot and you've got two numbers written down. 
You've got your circumference and you've got your length. Now the circumference is gonna determine what size you do from the pattern. Inside the written pattern, I've got five sizes, six inch circumference, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So you need to look at the size that you wrote down for the circumference of your foot and choose the right sock size for you. So for me, I like to size down. So my foot circumference is about eight and a half. So I do an eight inch circumference sock. And with that size, I still have a little bit of room in my sock, but it's not super tight and it's not super loose. So you do want to size down. So if you find that you're a nine and a half, um, nine and a quarter size down, if you find that you're really, really close to that next size, you kind of have to decide if you want your sock to be a little looser or a little tighter. So it's kind of personal preference when it comes there to choosing the right circumference for you. And something you can do is once you get started on your sock, you can choose your size that you wanna start with. And let's say you're like, I think that the eight inch circumference will fit perfectly. You can get started on that and get a little bit in. And once you've got a little bit into your foot, you could try it on and see how it fits. If you think it's too loose, if you think it's too tight, um, then you can just pull back and adjust your um, increases. You can either add in an extra increase, go up to the next size, or take out an increase and go down a size. So just look at the pattern because there are five different sizes. Go to which size that you think will work for you. And then if you find that your sock's not fitting perfectly, just pull back. Right at the beginning is a great time to just be like, you know what, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna adjust my sock size so that it fits me perfectly. And then once you have that figured out for your first sock, it's gonna make it so much easier for your second sock. So there is a little bit of trial and error, but for the most part, um, and this has worked for myself, and this works for my husband as well, um, I have our foot measurements and then I size down and do that size and then they fit perfectly. So that's a great way to start off to make your sock. Okay, so then we've got our other length. We've got the entire length of our foot. We've got that number down. So now I want you to take that number of that length of your foot and I want you to subtract two inches. That is the length that you want to work your sock all the way from the beginning of your toe to right before you start your heel. We want two inches for our heel and everything else for our toe and our foot. So for me, the length of my foot is nine and a half inches. So I stop at six and a half inches when my sock is that long. That's how long I make my sock and then I do my heel. So you need to know the circumference and you need to know the length of your foot to choose the best size to start making your Simplicity sock. Once you have those numbers, write them down, save them in your phone, write them on the pattern, um, and just so that you know later where you need to stop, it's just gonna save you so much time as you keep going. You don't have to be like, oh, I need to go back and double check that and measure that. You've got it written down, you've got your circumference, which that's what you're starting with, and then you've got the length of your foot so that you know where to stop before you start your heel. Super simple. So that's all the important things that you need to know about making a pair of Simplicity socks for our Get Hooked on Socks Challenge. It's super fun. Remember, if you've not signed up for the challenge already, go to leatherco.com slash sock challenge, sign up for the challenge. You can also purchase the PDF from our store for a dollar. And then you can find all of these yarns, crochet hooks, sock blockers, sock rulers, all the fun stuff in our store, which I will link down below. So whatever that you want to grab from our store, you don't have to purchase anything. You could still join the sock challenge for free. It's super fun. And over the next 10 days, we're gonna be making a pair of Simplicity socks. Come in, join the fun. If you're not already a member of our Facebook group, which is Lether Co. Community on Facebook, it's linked down below. You can come and join in because we'll be doing daily posts where you can come and post your progress of the sock that you're doing. Today for day zero, we are checking our gauge. We are going to write down we've got our supplies and we're gonna write down our foot measurements so that we've got those ready to go. And 
it's going to be so much fun and I hope you will be joining me on this Get Hooked on Socks challenge. If you find that you love making these socks by the end on September 10th on our new site, which will be theleatherco.com, we are launching our new subscription box called Get Hooked on Socks. It's a monthly sock box subscription where you're going to get a sock set of yarn every month along with a stitch marker of the month and a new sock crochet pattern every month shipped directly to your door. So if you find that you are going to be getting hooked on socks, you can check out our new subscription box, which will be on theletherco.com and you can start subscribing September 10th. So excited for this new sock box. And if you subscribe and you grab our first box, I'm going to include an extra goodie inside your box as a thank you for joining our Get Hooked on Socks subscription box. So I'm so excited. All right, y'all, grab your sock yarn, your Simplicity Sock Crochet Pattern, your crochet hook, your sock blocker, your sock rulers, your tape measures, your tapestry needle, your scissors. I think that's everything we need to make a pair of Simplicity socks and get hooked. I will see you tomorrow for day one when we do the toe of our sock. Bye guys.